Time for another round of first impressions with Anam. The first product I want to talk about is this Lumi cream from Lacme. I think that this makes for a fantastic dupe for the MAC strobe cream. The packaging, however, mentions that it's a moisturizer as well. That's the part I'm going to disagree with. As someone with dry skin, I definitely didn't find this very nourishing for the skin. For the strobe cream properties, I think it was absolutely fantastic. And I could see the dewiness even shine through a full coverage foundation really well. Just that the next time I use it, I'm going to make sure to prep even before this step. Next up, let's talk about this 3-in-1 from Gush Beauty. It is a contour, blush as well as highlighter. I loved the highlighter and contour from this particular stack. The blush, as you see, did not really work for me. I don't think I'm meant for cream blushes. If you are meant for cream blushes, then you'll probably like this one. For me, it just didn't really work out the way I imagined it. The contour and highlighter are things I will definitely go back to the stack for. I kind of wish they took the Huda Beauty route and had the matte and shimmer pigment of the same shade. I do think that going on to the lids, these are really nice and super pigmented. But unfortunately, as soon as you start blending them, the color completely buffs out and you really have to build up with it a lot. Is it something I could reach for the daily? Sure. But for full glam looks, I think I'm going to stick to my powder pigments. The Gush 2-in-1 liner and kajal is over here and I love the kajal side of it. It is so pigmented, easy to use, one stroke. The liner side is going to take me a couple of more wears because the felt tip shape is a little bit different from what I'm used to, but I think it's worth the effort. And the Just Herbs Liquid Lipstick in the shade Cinnamon Spice. Now this is not transfer proof, it goes on fairly easily, but it dries down to a comfortable creamy matte, which I really do like. It does have a little bit of a stretch on the lips when you stretch your mouth wide open, but barring that, I do not see any problems with this. I definitely find myself reaching for this one again.